The next section I'm going to talk about is reassessment. How is it going to impact us in the district and revenues and how is it going to impact you as a taxpayer? So the big thing that is super important to start with whenever you talk about um, property taxes is that your assessed value has absolutely nothing to do with the market value or the price that you paid for your home or what you could sell it for in today's market. Um, I have a little screenshot here of a property in, in the district um, that was sold on the 29th of, of um, December of last year. It sold for $250,000. Down here on the right hand corner um, is the tax assessment. The taxes are charged or, or assessed at $45,800. So <clears throat> there is um, a large gap between the market value and what you get for your house in the market versus the tax base that you're being charged on when your property tax bill is calculated. Um, assessed values can vary over, you know, all over the place, which is one of the reasons why there was a lawsuit brought forward several years ago that the counties lost. Um, so because of that lawsuit, all three counties are embarking on under a comprehensive reassessment. Um, Newcastle County is due to have the updated assessment data um, ready for implementation in July of 2025. So not, not this coming fiscal year, but the, the year after. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So when we talk about property taxes, how does that equate to Colonial's revenue? There's two simple factors that you need to look at. The tax base, which is a combination of all of the assessment values district-wide. Commercial properties, industrial properties, residential properties, businesses, everybody gets added up together. And the assessments total together equal the tax base. Colonials right now is, is right about $3 billion. You multiply that, the rate is what, I do a presentation every year in July to the board, um, <clears throat> but the rate is what you get charged on, and in, in um, the way that our rates work here, it's per $100 of assessed value. So our tax rate is $2.6.6. .6. So we, you're getting charged $2.6.6 .6 on every $100 of assessed value that your home has. And that calculation is what leads to our local revenue. So this slide is a little bit busy, but <clears throat> the intent here is to show that Delaware law requires, it is statutorily required, that when a reassessment occurs, the tax rate has to be reset in order to be revenue neutral, which essentially means that we have to get the same money, the same amount of money after the reassessment as we were getting before the reassessment. The way that that happens, so the, on the top, the houses are little, representing the smaller, lower assessed values. After the reassessment below, the values go up. So as the assessed values get closer to the market value, that means that we, can, we have to lower our tax rate in order to get the same, come up with the same amount of revenue on the back end. So two sides of an equation <clears throat> and they kind of move in opposite directions to get you to the same outcome, right? If our tax base doubles, then our tax rate gets cut in half and that equals the same amount of revenue that we started with, okay? Now it's important to note that the law does allow school boards easy numbers <clears throat> If we're generating $50 million now, the, the law would allow the school board to tell me, we wanna generate 55 million, right? We're adding that 10% onto the 50 million. <clears throat> we're gonna generate 55 million and that's a 10% increase. But I still have to reset the tax rate down to only get that 55 million. Or they could say, let's take 5%. I don't know what that decision is gonna be when the school board has that, um, that decision in front of them. <clears throat> but we are 
essentially required to reset so that we are not getting any additional dollars out of a reassessment. So that's all great for us. What does it mean for taxpayers, for residents? <clears throat> so unfortunately, determining how your property will be impacted by reassessment, it's impossible to do it in advance. Um, but you know the, the major principle that we want to hone in on here does have to do with that resetting of the rate. So the individual property, you have to look at in comparison to how the overall tax base gets changed. Mm -hmm. So in our earlier example, I mentioned, let's just assume that our tax base, right, the amount of um, the, the cumulative value of properties in Colonial doubles. That means the rate gets cut in half. If your property doubles, the value of your property doubles, then your tax bill is not gonna change because even though your assessment doubles, your rate is gonna get cut in half the way I've done for the whole tax base. If your property triples in value or goes up more than you know, the, um, it more than doubles, you might see an increase because your property's increased value has outpaced the overall district base. But conversely, if your property has grown at a slower rate than the overall growth in the district, then you may actually see a lower bill than you had before. Because if your property's uh, value relative to the overall tax base hasn't grown as much, then you could actually see a decrease in your property tax bill after reassessment. This, this is the really tricky part. <laughs> um, it, is, <clears throat> it is tough to understand, um, but the, the main thing to know, and you know, I work with my colleagues a lot statewide, and Kent County is a year ahead of us. They are actually gonna be implementing reassessment in this coming July. And residents in, in Kent County have already gotten letters telling them what their new assessed values are. And the, the rate resetting, that message is not widely understood. So everyone thinks that, oh my God, my house has gone from this and it's quadrupled, my taxes are gonna skyrocket. That would be true, except we have to reset the rate backwards. So if the entire district in Kent County quadruples, the rate gets cut by, by you know, it would, it would be 25% of what it was originally to maintain that neutral, that flat funding level. I say revenue neutral and people don't know what that means. So we can't get any more money after reassessment than we're getting right now unless the school board chooses to take that, that little bit extra that they're allowed to under, under Delaware law. All right. So that's reassessment. Um, that's what we know as of right now, because your guess is as good as mine what the, the rates are gonna do in Newcastle County. No one's gotten reassessed since 1983. And it is important to understand <clears throat> that even properties built after 1983 are still assessed based on what, it, what their home would have been worth in 1983. So a home built in 2023 gets backwards map to say, okay, what would it have cost if it was on the books in 1983?